All right, so part two of the seventh anniversary celebration has finally arrived on Global. Uh, now that doesn't mean that everything is here yet. Like for example, the new banner is still about a week away, but most of the new events are available right now. So with that said, let's pop into the news here and find out exactly what's going on. Okay, why is my game lagging? I guess there's a lot of people playing right now. Anyways, uh, here's the news for part two. It says Infinite Ultimate Battle Dokkan 7th Anniversary Grand Celebration Part 2 is on. Part 2 of the 7th Anniversary Celebration has begun on Monday, July 18th. New Extreme Z Battles and new stages of various events will be available in Part 2 of the Celebration. A team co-op campaign and Extreme Z Dokkan Festival will also be available. In addition, you will be able to use the tons of thanks summon tickets, which are the rainbow tickets, to perform summons in the dual Dokkan Festival and the top legendary summons uh, starting from Tuesday, July 26th. So that's when the new banner comes out, and that's also when uh, the discount for the dual Dokkan Fest goes away, and that's why we can start using the rainbow tickets to summon on all three banners. And lastly, background music to make the celebration even livelier will also be available. The opening theme of the anime Dragon Ball Z will be played during the specified period on the home screen. Awesome. Continue to enjoy the diverse events to the fullest. Okay, so we are starting with, of course, some new missions for part two of the uh, campaign. We also have the new top legendary summon banner, which is available starting on July 26th. And this time, they did not bother to uh, hide the new characters, because if I remember correctly, usually, for top legendary summons, don't they just, like, put the logo but no characters? Like, it's supposed to be a surprise, right? Unless, I'm crazy. Yeah, that's how they usually do it, no? You guys can let me know in the comments if, like, I'm, you know, talking facts or just you know, making stuff up, because if I remember correctly, yeah, uh, they usually don't reveal the characters in advance like this. They usually want to make it somewhat of a surprise, but maybe this year they were just like, yo, people follow JP anyways, people know exactly what's coming, so we might as well just put the Kalkin Goku and the Vegeta on the preview. Um, anyways, yeah, that banner is coming, we're getting the LR Kalkin Goku and the LR Great 8 Vegeta as the new LRs. And then we also have the uh, ticket version of the Dual Dokkan Fest banners. And of course, a new Extreme Z Dokkan Festival for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron because they are both getting Extreme Z Awakenings. And we have a super discount once again, so some nice stone sales for people that, you know, spend money on the game. And as far as I can tell, they're uh pretty decent pretty standard it looks like so 32 stones five times 12 stones once six stones once so not as good as of course as the part one sales but still better than the average stone sales and uh, we have the extreme z battle challenge pack which are for the extreme z dokkan festival tickets for the gogeta and omega shenron we have the destined confrontation packs which are Legendary Summon Tickets for the new Legendary Summon Banner coming out on the 26th. And then we have the Training Under Whis Win Him Over with Earth's Delicacies Team Co-op Campaign. And then some new stages for all three of the 7th Anniversary uh, Story Events to get the Dokken Awakening Medals for the Vegeta and Bulma, Goku and Chi Chi, and also the LR Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. All three of them eventually get Extreme Z Awakenings, but that's not until part three of the celebration starts. And then after that, we have the two new Extreme Z Battle events for the Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then the God Goku and God Vegeta. I did break down both of their, or all four of their details, I guess, along with the actual Extreme Z Battle events in a video from earlier today. So if you guys missed it, and you're curious about what the event looks like, what the units look like after their Extreme Z Awakenings, then feel free to go check those out. And we have some new red zone stages, two new stages per uh, side. 
Um, so four new levels in total. And then we have some new missions for the GT Legendary Goku event and also the Legendary Vegeta event. Obviously, more Elder Kai summons and I might actually have to start summoning on this banner because I am running very, very low on Elder Kai's. Like, I don't think I've ever been this low on Kai's since um, I first started, I guess. But anyways, uh, Elder Kai banner, we have the Super Strike event available for the Vegeta available every day because you can use these Vegetas to uh, farm the super attack of the uh, new LR Vegeta. I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because they're both called Vegeta, right? So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much why that's available every day. And then we have um, 7th Anniversary Special Movie. Oh, wait, hold on. This is all for Part 1, right? Yeah, this is all for Part 1. Okay, so we're just uh, repeating stuff we already saw before. So, yeah, that is the uh, second part of the Anniversary, guys. It's not as eventful as um, Part 1 was, that's for sure, but... We still got more stuff coming, so don't, you know, stress too much, don't worry too much. Um, the anniversary is far from over. Part 3 has some pretty good stuff. The EX part, which is like part 4 basically, also has some really exciting stuff, so look forward to that. And uh, real quick before we go, let's quickly look at the uh, Training Under Whis co-op campaign, which is essentially just like you know, missions for us to clear together to get more rewards. And uh, we can get things like more orbs, uh, dragon stones, some tickets, um, training items, a couple of meats, uh, you know, stuff like that. Some Elder Kais, which are very useful, of course, Sleepy Kais, and so on and so forth. So there you have it. That is the co-op campaign. You guys can, uh, you know, look in detail. Uh, on your own time if you want, but it's, you know, like any other co-op campaign we've had uh, before. And is there anything else to really look at? I don't really think so. I mean, the missions are pretty standard. Uh, in total, you know, we're getting... Oh, of course, don't forget, we are getting more of the 77 summon tickets with the new missions. We can't get all of them, but we can get about... I think it's 15 more, right? Towards, like, the 50 total, so... Make sure you guys get those done if you don't know exactly what the missions are. Um, I did make a video earlier during the anniversary about like where to get all the tickets, so feel free to go check that video out. But um, yeah, more 77 summon tickets, obviously more uh, rainbow tickets as well, which are very valuable for summoning on all three of the anniversary banners. And um, aside from that, yeah, we're just looking at like some more stones, guys, training items, all that good stuff, right? So, uh, yeah, that is part two, guys. There's not much more to say. Um, enjoy the new events. I will be doing my runs of, like, the new Extreme Z Battle events, the, uh, you know, uh, showcases for all the Extreme Z Awakenings and all that good stuff very, very soon, probably later. Well, I'm not sure if I have time tonight, but tomorrow for sure. So stay tuned for that keep an eye out and uh that's all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and uh, until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out